A little bit better, I mean, one, maybe off when they're off the podium, you know? Yes. Right, let's um, have a look at the contestants in the under 100 kilo category in the final. It's Ilias Iliadis of Greece, and he faces Kobayashi Daisuke of Japan. It's Iliadis in white and Kobayashi in blue. Well, I can't deny that uh, I'm an Iliadis fan, as many people are, but uh, I don't know if he deserves to be in this final. Uh, uh, after the um, hand tie with that's right. um, Maxim Rakov. That's right. And it's nothing against Iliadis. Not I just thought that, uh, I thought that the, his I opponent thought Rakoff, yeah. fought better. I thought Rakov took it. But here he is. And, uh, but Kobayashi showed us uh, a lot better Jew than I expected the, at the beginning of the day. He was kind of the veteran hanging in there, and he's hung in there to the end, and he showed us some good judo. He hasn't had a bad draw, to be honest. It's always nice to have a good draw. He got a bit lucky with the draw. Had to work quite hard with Batorga on paper, but he finished him off easily enough. Yes. And now here comes the stiffest test of the day. And you'd expect that in the, you know, gold medal match. I'd say the Japanese fans have got to be a little bit nervous about this one. I'm sure they felt much, much more confident. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for Nishiyama, but they felt better with him versus Lee. Where's that Kim? Lee. She had a, a look at that foot there for a little bit of Kochi. Hadn't really established a grip, so wasn't a big threat. And that was a nice look here at Ochi. Still trying to manage that Ochi. <laughs> Eliadis really getting solid. Suzuki Keiji giving him some uh, some instruction from the side. Perhaps about controlling the upper body a little bit more. Iliad is now having a, a deep grip. We actually seem to be a, doing a good job of trying to neutralize Iliadis' gripping strategy here. And then trying in some of these exchanges to get a quick attack in in between. And there guys tries to go over the top. And then he comes down with a deep grip but loses it again. Has a look at a Maki. An old Soto Maki but doesn't quite get it. I think this is the best um, possible matchup that Iliadis could have got um, or would have asked for. You know, we, we haven't got someone who's blisteringly hot as far as the Japanese are concerned, and he probably didn't want one of the top draw, you know, Europeans. Well, he fought that in, in the, the semis. Final, and he did that in the semi final, yeah. His job's not over yet. Sure, I'm just wondering who, who else could have troubled him. He's, he's, he's had the problem man, hasn't he? In, uh, in Rakov. Because the only other person, you know, up there, in, in, we, we inside the top 20, was Batorga. So really, this was a great one for Iliadis. To, uh, to come to, especially if he wanted to get some ranking points under his belt 
to see whether he's going to stay at um, at 100. And then we're going to get a warning to both. Whatever happens, it will be the last time that Ilyadis is oh. um, just missed out on um, getting him with the Ashi Waza. That's right. Good catch. Ooh. Was it Kochi okay. into uh, a dashi barai? Yeah, was, uh, but, well, the angle was a little bit difficult to see on, on the replay. We just saw the, the feet there. But, uh, I like the combination. I think it yeah. was... He didn't open him up with one and then uh, yeah. look to take him with the other foot. I didn't, yeah. I think he didn't get the arm work going. Here, here we're going to see it here. Kochi, look, he, see, he takes the back leg there. And so he didn't um, have the sleeve. Yeah, yeah. If he had pulled that arm in toward the trunk of his body, then he would have had the control yeah. in the upper body. Oh, that's where he's dangerous. Don't want to get too close in. Oh. He throws in. That's going to be 10. Yep, beautiful. Fit. Kobayashi totally committed to that. And that was the same kind of commitment we saw in the semifinals where he did that second hop in the Ichimata and just drove his entire upper body into this. Bam! Well deserved win. Kobayashi, it is. He manages to throw. Ilias Iliadis for Ripon with Uchimata. You know, after the disappointment of Ishiyama, that felt good for the yeah, Japanese yeah, fans. Exactly. I'm sure they were holding their breath. They know what Iliadis is capable of. So we're going to hear what uh, Kobayashi has to say about um, defeating the legend <laughs> that is Iliadis. Somehow I think he's going to feel pretty good. 